This is Furiosa. She's one of many kittens having trouble being placed in Los Angeles and the rest of the country. We're in a pretty bad situation nationwide. I'm here at the Best Friends Animal Center in Los Angeles where kittens like her are nursed back to health. A lot of them found on the streets and put into foster care, then hopefully adopted. Problem is, 7% more animals are coming into shelters than are going out of shelters. And this is a post-pandemic phenomenon because we lost a whole season of trap, neuter, return. Kittens were born all over our cities in the US and we couldn't uh, get them fixed on time. Three months, four months later, they're having kittens of their own. That's how fast cats can reproduce. That's our problem around here. So, what are we doing about it? Well, besides like hanging out with Furiosa, we're gonna get these guys into brand new homes. We're loading 60 kittens into a van, bringing them to my old stomping grounds, uh, the Humane Society of Boulder Valley in Boulder, Colorado, and where they're gonna get adopted. So why are we going to Boulder, Colorado? Well, first of all, I spent 15 years there. It's where I started my shelter work back in 1993. They just don't have kittens right now. And if they don't have kittens, that means they're gonna find homes pretty quickly. Boulder is different from places like Los Angeles because they have defined kitten seasons. It's cold in the winter, and then when springtime comes, cats are mating and litters are born. Here in Los Angeles and, and all other warm weather places, cats are giving birth all year round. Remember this. Every Every female in Los Angeles can have at least two litters a year. They can start having those litters at about four months old. That's about two months older than Furiosa, and they can start having babies. Exponential population explosion. What goes bad here? We just look to other partners around the country who might need kittens. And that's how sheltering should work and is going to work today. That's why we're springing into action here as we've done before. The Kitten Express is leaving town soon. My wife Minu and our friend Nicole are driving the van for what should be about a 20 hour drive uh, with 60 kittens. And because I've done it before, I feel like I've earned a pass. I'll be flying to Boulder tonight, catching a flight as they drive away. <laughs> that was a fun conversation at home. Uh, but hey, like I said, I earned it. But these guys uh, are going going to have great homes. Is this a drop in the bucket? Call it what you want. The thing is that for every cage that we empty here, best friends can then go to the city shelters and the county shelters, pull more kittens out of there, put them into foster, put them into the cages. Every life like Furiosa that leaves a cage here opens a cage for another kitten. We save lives just like that. So it's not just 60, it's 120. That's the way I look at it. So we're gonna get them out of here. We're gonna do it quick because honestly, we've got no time to waste. Let's get them out right now. So anyway, um, there's a nursery here. There are many dogs and cats for adoption here. And we're just going down the hallway here. Um, but uh, I just want to show you as we're starting, we're just starting to load. So this is the first truck load going into the truck. These guys might not be excited at the moment, but they surely will be. Let's just introduce you to some kittens around here. Oh my God, look at this little pose right here. <laughs> Everybody just wants to get in on the act. Ultraviolet, you can't turn off the video, dudes. Ultraviolet and Umbriel. Are you saying hi to everybody? Are you saying hi to everybody? Are you? We are getting ready to send all these guys to Boulder, Colorado. I know. I can't stop showing you kittens. So I'm gonna keep showing you kittens. Okay, these are the berries. We have two berries in here. All of the berries are named after a volunteer here at the shelter named Kathy Berry, who was a, a nursery volunteer who recently passed away. Kathy Berry was one of my best friends, and she was a volunteer at Best Friends. She was a donor at Best Friends. She was a donor at so, she donated so many rescues all over LA. Her life was dedicated to homeless cats. And the nursery team, they loved Kathy so much. She was there every single week, probably twice a week, feeding these bottle babies, wow. even to the end. 
till the last month of her cancer. She was in there. She said, that is my happy place. Four kittens came into the nursery the day she passed away and they named them after her. They were the Berry kittens. They all had a berry in their name for Kathy Berry. You know, it's, it's definitely a tribute, but it was just something that would mean so much to her to know that these kittens were safe and they were named after her. To think about Kathy in that nursery in the last month of her life, saying, no, 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 this isn't about them as much as it's also about me. It's about what sustains me in these times. Cry. That's really beautiful. <laughs> Try not to cry. <laughs> you make me cry. I know, it's, because it's, it really it's... is beautiful. And her whole life was dedicated to homeless cats. How many states are they going through? They're going to be going through, we're going to go through part of Nevada, Utah, and Colorado. Four states. I mean, the hardest part of this drive really is, I mean, if you look at all these crates, um, at some point, probably three times during this trip, we're going to be doing feeding and, uh, and poop scooping. And so everybody has to kind of come out or be sort of Tetris around so that um, we can uh, we can get to them and and clean up. The cleaning is the hard part, really. But that said, the last time I did this, it was in the dead of summer, and having to scoop poop when it's 100 degrees outside, I'll take this any day of the week. Um, and you know, I've done it with Minu before. I've done it with Hannah Shaw before, and we've always had a good time. So the drive is an adventure. It's always fun. Truck stops at four o'clock in the morning. It's fun, especially if you like potato chips, which I do. That was the easy part for me. Now, I got a plane to catch. See you in Boulder. All right, we go from the shelter to this. And also, I'm not gonna lie, I feel a little good about being in a plane. My poor wife is in a van with kittens and kitten food. So it was an unexpectedly long stop because there was a lot of poop. Um, the smell in this van is, let's just say it's special. So we have a couple of little bad girls who kind of escaped their carrier, but now they're just chilling on the seat while Mina goes to try find a new carrier. Um, we had a runaway kitten who was super smart and managed to push her way through, got out into the van. So we had to pull over and get her back in and make sure she doesn't get out again. Clean poop and get yes. snacks. So here's everyone nice and quiet, sleeping happily. And we are only two and a half hours in. <laughs> yes. Here's to another 12 and a half hours. Colorado, late at night. No, we're not here yet. We're still in the airport, but it's a nice airport. Arizona State Line. Woo -woo. There it is. Utah. 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 left. Nicole has all the baby's names, all the kittens' names on here. Well, I made it, and uh, I'm in Boulder, my old stomping grounds here, and uh, I am going to be heading right now over to the shelter. Now, the kittens aren't here yet, um, but it's a long trip, man. I hope that uh, Minu and Nicole are doing okay, and 60 kittens, Last I heard, there was a lot of screaming. I mean, that was the humans. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna head to the shelter, see some old friends, get settled in, wait for the kittens to show up, 
and uh, and then the unloading begins. So I'm stoked. Are you guys ready for the last step? And here we are, finally. Oh, we're videotaping them. They're videotaping us. We're about to uh, unload some kittens. 60 kittens arriving. Kittens are like, what happened? Uh, Nicole had this great idea. She basically put the names of every cat on the van. And you can see Floofy. There's the berries right there. Berry pie, berry cordial, berry farm, and berry jam. So let's walk in and see where the kittens are at. Let's show you some more of these guys. How amazing is that, right? These guys like get here and immediately they're playing and eating. Okay. Yeah, these guys are kind of playful. These guys are playful. And what are we doing? Are we playing? <gasps> what? Hi. So we got some berries. Oh! Sibling rivalry. Think, I'm tired. I just unloaded. I just emptied out all the poop in there. Your mama, your foster mama would be so happy. Before you leave today, I'm going to show you one of the berries in their new home. <gasps> so, oh, excited? Yes, let me try try the tears. So, Yay, how exciting. Let's go meet Breezy and her berry. Oh, let's go meet I them. I love it, I can't wait. God. So who, <laughs> show us, show us. But here is, oh, hold on baby, say hi. Here is this. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the ears <laughs> on him. <laughs> they are, he's so much uh, well, they grow, I guess, right? Right. He's gotten so much bigger just in the past couple of weeks, and he's such a sweetheart. I'm so and happy. Now, which berry was he? Which? which he's you know? farm berry. Oh. Formerly known as farm berry, now he's Zeus. He is <laughs> oh gorgeous, man. And this is Thank so you. Nice. So we adopted two. So we've got Zena that you can kind of see in the background there, and then Zeus at the same at the same time. Um, and do you know the story about about I these? I don't. Guys? I would love to hear it. Samantha's going to tell you really quickly. So Kathy Berry was a beloved volunteer at Best Friends and a foster and a kitten Aww. kitten nursery. She would bottle feed the kittens. On the day she passed away, those four kittens were rescued so by Best Friends and they brought them into the nursery, so they named all of the kittens Barry names since her last name was I was Barry. wondering, like, were, were they born on a farm? I had no idea. I had no idea. So they were named for oh. my good friend and a wonderful, wonderful friend to homeless cats everywhere. Oh, that's so awesome. That's such a good story. You have no idea what this means to us, Breezy, to see uh, this little Barry um, with his new sister in a beautiful place. And uh, I'm so glad that you could see this I'm, too. I'm so excited. I had no idea this was going to happen. This is such a treat. Thank you so much for letting me, me join in and see this wonderful boy. Uh, absolutely. And I want to say thank you, Jackson, you, your team, Boulder Humane Society. Thank you for everything that you guys have done. It means so much to me and so many other people that were able to adopt kittens. Absolutely. Well, send us pictures as he gets older and even more Absolutely. cute. Absolutely. All right. Thank you again. Thank you. Nice to meet you. you nice too. to meet you. Congrats. And that's a wrap. I have no right to say it, but I'm tired, man. That was a long trip for those guys. But and speaking of a trip, think about this. 
60 cats, kittens, who might not have had a chance because of the overpopulation problem in LA. They come here and uh, they then uh, live. And not only that, but that clears the cage space for 60 more kittens uh, to come on in and have a chance at life in Los Angeles. So it's just small moves that we can make uh, that make a big difference. Pretty cool. We've got two exhausted drivers that need a break. So we're gonna go get some food. Light, love, and mojo to all you guys. Spay and neuter your animals, please. <laughs>